that was an incredible experience for you. And yeah. the campmates were just the best. I think that bond you had and the friendships that made, we just laughed with you. It was wonderful. But it was coming out of there and the change that it made to you. You came out, you came out a different person with a different life, really. Yeah, it was mad. It was sort of going into it, it was, you know, people sort of knew me-ish. It's like every now and again, like someone would look at me from across the room and be like, is that my electrician? <laughs> and, but like, and now people look at me and go, that's the guy from the jungle who took his top off lots. Yeah. yeah. So, um, as Holly said, it was, it was incredibly harmonious. And you say it's really weird watching it back because you, you haven't seen any of it. No, it's mad. I don't, why didn't you record it all? That's I mean, the I'd most I've seen. That's the most I've And I'd have watched sure, the whole lot when I came I back. I would watch the whole thing. Imagine sitting down and watching 23 hours of yourself. Great, amazing. That's like <laughs> great television. I just, I still just kind of, I, I like to remember it the way that I remember it. If I look yeah. back, I'd be like, oh, that's so different if I remember it. And it's, um, yeah, I'd just rather leave it as like a memory. Yeah. So when you've, now you've gone out on the road with a tour then, have you used any of that experience uh, for material? Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. It's the, Weirdly, they want to hear less of it than I thought. I thought it was going to be like half jungle stuff because that's the stuff they, that people would really love and then it would kind of, I'd, I'd seamlessly just go into my normal stuff and they wouldn't notice. But actually, like, they really, they, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, cool, jungle stuff. Just do your jokes, mate. And I'd just do my jokes oh, really? and it's fine, yeah. I like, I do some jungle th bits at the top and talk about... Well, there is another topic that takes quite a, quite a larger chunk of, uh, of content, isn't there? Yeah. And that's what happened just before you went into the, uh, into the jungle. Yes, uh, yes, Philip. Um, I, so I was catfished, so that's like a big part of my, my show is Explain talking about it. Explain catfishing. Catfishing is when someone pretends to be somebody else online and then they uh, sort of uh, entrap you and you might have Skype sex and you might regret that thing. Right. And actually, I mean, this is, we're, we're sort of laughing about this now, but this was quite, it was a really serious yeah. moment in your life. And I mean, you, you were blackmailed. So, I mean, it was, it was incredibly horrible. It was wasn't horrific. It? Like, horrific. My mum used to have a Google a lot of my name. Not anymore. She no. took that off. Yeah. No. It's like, <laughs> it's the, the most horrific things ever. But I'm a comedian. You've got to laugh at it. And if you don't laugh at it, you'd cry about it. And so I guess gotta... in some way, now that you, this is on your tour, this is your time, you can talk about it, you now own that. Yeah. That's yours. It's fine, because otherwise, like, papers would be like, oh, this thing that we found. And you're like, yeah, I've been talking about it for ages, mate. Yeah. You know, I, like, laugh at it, and it's, it's, it's horrific, but if I talk about it, then hopefully it will happen to less other people. You know, this is a really yeah. big tour, and I'm talking to loads of people, so hopefully... That's a good point. You know, if someone add someone on Twitter who's like a ridiculous person, then maybe they'll think twice about, maybe, oh, maybe that person is not real. Well, yeah. the, the, the yeah. name was Stacey Taylor, and we, we point out that that was a fake name. And so, but you have invited Stacey to the show. Invited her. And, uh, or him, or whoever it happened to be. Or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> I, uh, they haven't, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't know them if they, they were in the front there. row. They may well have been there. It's, uh, it's so exciting. Immediately, I, I trusted them mm. because they had 100,000 followers, and that's what trust is these days. <laughs> and <laughs> so I was like... <laughs> I can't believe we're laughing about it. It's really <laughs> it was bad. so bad. And now it's just, it's, I mean, it's really funny. I come out on stage and I go, uh, give a cheer if you've seen, uh, see me and I'm a celebrity, get me up here. And everyone goes, hey. And I'm like, give me a cheer if you've seen my penis. And everyone's like, yay. Yeah. <laughs> like, give me a cheer if you see my comedy. And it's like, eh, less people have seen my penis. Okay, it's one of those. All right, fair enough. Well, you also, uh, I mean, over uh, quite recently, uh, Instagram, um, I mean, you, <laughs> even Hannah, yeah. um, you say you're very used to. You <laughs> and there you are. Sound. There we are. You're used to seeing each other naked. So when you posted this picture on Instagram, you thought it would be perfectly okay but of course we're well we're sort of used to seeing you naked uh, thanks so, mate <laughs> i know you've seen the video Philip. <laughs> but um but why what happened here <laughs> we all googled it mate we all googled it <laughs> <laughs> my mum didn't have to she had a google alert on my name <laughs> oh, the uh um so uh, we it was just our birthday my birthday weekend and i thought oh we're in the bath we'll take a photo and i thought oh that's really cute that's really nice and uh you do forget because i see myself naked every day and then you put it up on Instagram and everyone's like, what? You're like, oh, yeah, other people aren't as used to it as me. Well, you, you went back and you, uh, you did another bath selfie, didn't you? Did that last again? night, yeah. You did this last night. Should we have a look? This one's uh, slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> there yeah. you go. We thought we'd do the same thing with loads of clothes. 
Bear in mind, we did that yesterday on the hottest day, day of the year. Yes. It was so stressful. We put all the clothes on, immediately regretted it. And we were just like, I was like, take one. And if we get out of the bathroom, it's like, it's not all right. OK, I'm going to go back. I was sweating so much. It's like the least sexy thing we've ever done in our lives. Well, it's very funny. Oh, it's so nice to see you. And you're on tour currently at the moment. You're all the way to the end of the year. It's a very, very long. Mm. I'm not talking about the sex tape anymore. Um, the, um, <laughs> the, the, yeah. The... <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, so man. sorry. It's OK. <laughs> Joel Domit Live all over the UK until November the 11th, I think. Isn't yes. It? Uh, yeah, and it, no, it's now been extended. It's now to the end of the year. Oh, wow. Um, it's even longer than we thought. It's even was. longer. We're not talking about the same. <laughs> uh, it's lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you so much Thank for having you. me.